it's Ali Cody. I am a certified holistic nutritionist and the CEO and founder of Avocado Alley, where we focus on healing through food, through faith, and through fun as well, because life just shouldn't be that serious. Today, we are going to talk about the things, the signs that your eyes are trying to tell you. What are your eyes revealing about your health? Before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe below and click the bell. That way you get a notification every Friday when I have a new episode drop in. Okay, let's get started. You know me, I like to share my PowerPoint and we are going to talk about the health issues revealed through your eyes. That's right, through your eyes. I'm watching you. Let's see what we can find out. Okay, first let's talk about yellow spots on your eyelid. These are raised yellow bumps around your upper and lower eyelids. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what it's called. They are made up of cholesterol. They're not dangerous, but you know, they don't look so great. They may be a sign that you're consuming too much cholesterol because the best way to lower your cholesterol is just to consume less. I think we try to overcomplicate things, just consume less of it. Um, but it also does reveal something pretty serious. If you have that cholesterol buildup and it's showing up on your eyelids, then you are at risk for heart disease or heart attack. So you really wanna consider changing how you eat. Lump, really a sty. This is this is a sty. It's painful. <laughs> they're red and they're caused by bacteria. And you never, ever, ever, ever want to pop it. It kind of looks like, feels like a pimple, but you don't want to pop it. You want to soak it with a clean washcloth in warm water and hold that onto your eye for 10 to 15 minutes three to five times a day. If it doesn't go away, then see your doctor, but be very gentle. Be very gentle with anything around your eye. Yellowish skin and eyes. So if you do have yellow in the whites of your eye, it could be a sign of jaundice. And this is when you have too much of a waste product in your body. And so your body starts breaking down red blood cells. And this happens in babies before they're 38 weeks because their livers aren't mature. But in adults, it can be a sign that there's an issue with our liver. It can also be a sign that there's a viral infection or an issue with our gallbladder, our pancreas. And it can also be a sign of alcohol abuse. Have you ever seen this odd sized pupils? Of course, you know, when we go into the dark, our pupils get bigger to let more light in. But sometimes one of our pupils appears to be stuck wide open or might appear to stay small and not change. And these could have some underlying health issue reasons as well. It could be nerve damage. It could be from medications. It could be from eye surgery. It also says here it could be from migraines, but let's think about migraines. Migraines are a symptom of another underlying health issue. So if you have migraines, that's a whole other YouTube episode, then there's some other underlying health issues and there's some nutritional changes that we can make for that as well. Puffy eyes. So if you have puffy eyes, it could be many different things. It could be too much salt, which is just holding that water retention around your eyes. Allergies, sinus issues, it could be dehydration. It could be a lack of sleep and fatigue. It could be stress, of course, it could be from crying as well. I would always, years and years ago, I would always wake up with puffy eyes. And it was, it was what I was eating, and I thought I was eating healthy, but I was not. If you have red or bloodshot eyes and you haven't been out, you know, partying and you don't know why, then this could be from different issues. It could be from allergies, dry eye, pink eye, just a lack of rest and sleep, and it, it should go away quickly. But if there's something else, if there's an injury, glaucoma, if there's a cut or a scratch, 
Um, or if there's a sore in your cornea, then that could be more serious. Definitely you want to see a doctor for that. Ooh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, crust. So more than just that morning stuff. And hopefully you don't even get that anymore. That's something else. Wow, this is taking me back to years and years and years ago when I thought I was eating healthy. And years and years and years and years and years ago when I definitely was not eating healthy. And I would get that eye gook every morning. I don't get that anymore. So this is when you have that sticky crust around your lids and your lashes. And, you know, it's possible you might want to see your doctor. It's possible it could be related to pink eye. And what happens is it's just blocked to your ducts and it just builds up. But there could also be an issue with your oil glands as well. Dry and itchy eyes, of course, it could be allergies. It could be medication. It could be your contact lenses. Aging. It possibly, but we can still combat that. It's not a, um, an ultimatum or a necessary part of aging, but it can be uh, from diseases like arthritis and also eye strain from computer use. Um, eye drops can help. And another way to get relief is to put a cold compress on your eyes. But don't ever rub your eyes, you know, especially you never want to rub your eyes yet. from a vanity standpoint. When you rub your eyes, you really cause that aging around your eyes. You know, our um, eyes right here are one of the first places that we see that those signs of aging. So we don't want to like help it along. Right. Of course, as I mentioned, oh, gosh, I thought I had. Oh, I have that later. We'll get into the digital eye strain. We're going to get into that later as well. Watery eyes. So tears are a good thing. They keep your eyes moist. Uh, they help wash out things that don't belong there. And when you have watery eyes, it means that your tears are either working in overtime or they just aren't draining normally. So it could be um, an infection, a cut, a scrape, uh, but hopefully it clears up quickly. Um, or it could be from cutting onions, right? <laughs> Twitching. This used to happen to me all the time. Right here, right here, we'll go. Do you have that happen to you? Well, it may need, mean that you need more rest. It may mean that you need to cut back on the caffeine. And there's some other nutritional changes that we can make if you're having that issue. Uh, chances are it's nothing serious at all, but heck, it is annoying. Burning or stinging. This is often a sign of just really tired and irritated eyes. It could be from allergies to hay fever, dust, or smoke. Um, it could be a buildup of bacteria um, that causes just flakes and, and dry eye. And it could be when your eyes just aren't making good quality tears and in you need help and of course there's some drops that you can get over the counter a more serious issue is inflamed cornea also known as keratitis and it can also be this is what i was going to tell you about before it can also be from being on the computer um being on your device too long digital eye strain it could also be from dry eye syndrome as well so we want to make sure that we walk away from the computer and our kids too, especially. Um, something really serious if you do have sudden onset of blurred vision, this is serious. Um, now it could be from a migraine and we talked about, um, and, and you know what, I'll do an episode on the migraine, not next week. Uh, we're going to talk about something next week, but I'll have a migraine episode coming up because that's just a symptom of something else going on in our body. Um, but that sudden onset could be from possible stroke. So definitely, um, definitely get that taken care of right away. How about foods that contribute to eye health? Here are some great foods for the health of your eyes. So maybe you can avoid some of these issues. Leafy greens, whole grains. Yes, I said whole grains, yes. You want good, healthy grains, citrus fruits and berries, nuts and seeds, colorful veggies. You know, you just want the colors of the rainbow there and beans and legumes. And that's it for today. I hope this was eye opening. 
pun intended, for you, and I hope you've benefited. If you want more information on my program, you can click below in the description. I also have a link there to our group because we want you in the group on Facebook. It's just a lot of great tips and a fun and positive atmosphere. Next week, we are going to talk about the signs our faces vogue, vogue, vogue. Yes, I'm an 80s kid. We are going to talk about what our face is telling us. What is our face telling us about our health? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When all else fails, if the actual health issue isn't a reason to change things, vanity kicks in. So we're going to hit on vanity next week. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day, and I can't wait to see you then. Bye.